head shakes. Some of your comments are kind of funny. Um, the bike was crashed. A car made a U-turn in front of it, and the bike glanced off the left side of the car into the opposite side of the road. Down it went. So the test ride was to see if the fucking frame was straight and if the bike did anything funny. The head shake is not a big deal. See the tire wear? Worn more here than there. Tire's pretty spent anyway. We jacked up. Head bearings are all nicey nice. Not loose. No play. Look at the axle. This hit the wheel of the car that this motorcycle struck. It took a good hit right here. It hit the side of the car so hard it applied the brake, smashed it back into the tank, did not break any steering stops or anything. So I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to put a new tire on this. I'm going to measure the axle for trueness, and I'm going to put it all back together and go videotape that test ride and see what we get for a head shake again. I can make any BMW with a conventional fork shake like a fucking dog. Lots of factors in these bikes will cause a head shake. Tire wear, number one. Head bearings, number two. Bent stanchion tubes, number three. Bent axle, number four. Bent frame, number five. Along with numerous other things that can cause all kinds of funky handling. It's not the case with this. It goes down the road nice and straight. It's got a head shake on deceleration. And that I will fix today.